Hello everyone, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome back to the fall fashion edit. I really hope you guys have been enjoying these videos so far. I know I've been having a lot of fun making them. If you haven't already subscribed, then make sure you hit that subscribe button below. There are still several more videos to come, so I would really love to have you guys here on my channel. And of course, if you like fall fashion videos, then make sure you give this video a thumbs up. That means so much to me. So today I have a highly anticipated Zara haul. I know that you guys really enjoy these videos and I really like Zara and I'm really loving a lot of the items that they have in style and in store for this season. What honestly blows my mind is the amount of inventory and styles they release on a weekly basis. So somebody in store actually told me that every single Friday they release a new collection. Like how wild is that? That being said, they're pretty good at keeping their website stock. So if you go in a store and you can't find any of these items in your size, then you'll probably be able to find them online or you can always get a notification when the item does come back in stock in your size. Now today's video, I have a lot of basics, which I'm really looking forward to sharing with you guys and styling up for you as well. So this is definitely a try on haul. And Zara, I just think does basics really well at a very affordable price point. So enough of me rambling on. I have a ton of different items to get through with you. You guys today so let's just get straight into the video so the first piece I have to share with you guys is this gorgeous t-shirt style top it's in a ribbed effect fabric which is a nice kind of weight fabric it feels really nice on the body with this gorgeous mock neckline I love a nice mocked neck in the fall winter and into the spring season especially where I live it gets quite chilly here so it's nice to have your neck a little bit higher up and covered now it's not completely form-fitting I would have preferred if it was a little bit more fitted on my size but nonetheless it is a really nice basic I like the length of it it's not quite too cropped so you can still tuck it into a pair of like high-waisted trousers jeans or a skirt so a really versatile piece a really great piece for layering as well I picked this one up in a size small and it was under 20 Canadian next up we have a very similar piece but this one is in a heavier weight material it has a really nice soft feel to it. it's almost kind of like a really soft sweatshirt material with that gorgeous mock neck and I love love this color. It has a raw hem at the bottom and it is slightly cropped but you can still definitely tuck it in to anything high waisted. It's not going to have a ton of excess material to tuck in but you definitely still can or you can wear it a little bit more cropped as well. The sleeves are also a raw hem and what I was initially concerned about is how this was going to wash. I actually washed this in warm water and then I hung it to dry so I didn't put it in the dryer and honestly I think it's turned out really really well. The texture hasn't gone funny on it. It hasn't lost its shape and I haven't shrunk it so that is always a bonus this one comes in a variety of colors and their basics are really good for that all of the items I'm showing you pretty much come in a variety of different colors this one is also a size small and under 20 Canadian next up we have this gorgeous long sleeve top again it's in a even kind of fluffier soft material but it's not kind of too fuzzy and again I wash this with the exact same top I just shared with you guys and it came out really nicely it didn't shrink at all it is a little bit more cropped it has a finished hem at the bottom and I love the long sleeves on it now they're not completely form fitted to your arm they're a little bit loose but I think that's a nice kind of feel for the autumn season I really like the neckline but it's obviously this neutral color that I'm all about and I'm absolutely loving because it makes it very easy to style I also picked this one up in a size small and it was under I believe 26 Canadian and the last top I have to share with you guys and I went a little bit crazy on the tops because I really struggle with separate so I buy a lot of pants which you're gonna see in the haul and trousers and skirts and shorts but I don't really have anything to wear them with so when I find a bunch of tops I like I just went for it and I'm debating if I should actually buy them in a bunch of different colors because all the tops were under 30 which makes it very affordable and they have some really nice neutral pieces out that you can either dress up or down so this is kind of a casual sweatshirt style top it has a cropped raw hem at the bottom however the sleeves are cuffed it's almost kind of like a looser kind of like balloon sleeve a little bit and I just really like this piece it's very comfortable but as mentioned you can really dress it up or down so you could dress it up with a pair of jeans and over the knee boots if you wanted or you can pair it with even a fully pair of culottes like I styled this one to run errands over the Thanksgiving weekend this one I picked up in a size small. I believe it comes in several other colors and this one was under 26 Canadian as well. Next item is kind of a sweatshirt style dress. Now I spotted this online, not in this color. I believe it was in a red and a black. And honestly, online, this piece did nothing for me and I wouldn't have ordered it if I had just looked at it online. 
it was when I walked into the store that that sold me on this piece. I was a little bit concerned it might be too long on me, but I'll style it up for you guys and you can see how it looks. So obviously it's this color. If you've watched any of my previous videos, you know I'm all about this gorgeous kind of olive khaki green for the fall and winter season. I love it. Really brings out my eyes and that's just something I look for when choosing my items. So I love this color. It has a nice kind of rolled turtleneck at the top. It's very kind of like a flowy feel sweatshirt style dress and then it has a three quarter length sleeve but you can actually roll the sleeves up if you kind of want a more laid back casual feel. Now I'm really looking for pieces that I can dress up. I wear a uniform to work so on my days off, yes, I'm a little bit more on the casual side, but I'm looking for pieces that I can style up and make look really cute, whether it's for date night, going out with girlfriends, running errands, or whatever that may be. Now, this one you can wear with bare legs, over the knee boots, ankle boots, or over a pair of leather leggings. I think that look really nice as well. And this one was really affordable. It was under 26 Canadian, and I picked it up in a size small. So next, I have a couple pair of jeans to share with you guys. I really actually like Zara denim. I find them very comfortable, and I just really like the way they feel and look on my body. So these are a pair of very high-waisted dark denim jeans with a contrast stitch, and they are definitely a skinny jean. I'm 5'3", and they're not totally bunched at my ankle, so they're a nice length on me. Keep in mind, if you're taller, they're going to be a slightly bit more cropped on you. And that's how they look at the back. And I just really needed something like this in my wardrobe. I have a lot of jeans, but they're kind of more of a mid-rise. And I'm wanting more of a high-rise. These ones I picked up in a USA size 4. And these ones are under 40 Canadian. And I just find that Zara denim is good quality. And it holds up really well over time. And when you find something you like, you find something that's good. You just go for it in a different color. Exact same style jean as the previous one. But you know what? No one's actually going to know that. And I really like the wash of these ones. I think they're really nice. And I personally really like dark dark denim in the fall and winter season. I prefer a lighter wash in the spring and summer. However, there's nothing wrong with wearing white in the winter. The snow, the frosted ground, white looks really nice, especially paired with camel colors. But otherwise, I opt for a dark denim. These ones fit the exact same as the previous ones. They're in a size four and they're also under 40 Canadian. Now, I was really in need of a new pair of black denim jeans. However, I spotted these black leggings and I actually really like them because they kind of give the effect and illusion that you're wearing a pair of denim jeans but they're actually a legging material so they have a zip and this massive button which I really like I think it looks quite high-end it has faux pockets so kind of sticks with that legging theme and they're just a really nice thick quality legging they're really comfortable they're easy to get on and off and they're very high rise so I think that these would make for a really great workwear piece if you work in an office you could wear these with a nice blouse you can even put a belt through it because it has belt loops a flowy top over top of the pants if you want to kind of dress them up a little bit but honestly it's all about that comfort and style so it feels like you're wearing leggings but it looks like you're wearing jeans and I'm all about that. These ones I picked up in an extra small and they're under 40 Canadian. Now these next pair of kind of trouser leggings I'm a little bit unsure of because of the print but you know what I wanted to experiment and try something a little bit different and a little bit out of my comfort zone. Shopping at affordable retailers is a really good way to experiment with trends and styles to see if you like it rather than investing in something very expensive you don't know if you're gonna like that or not honestly try out a less expensive option so that's what I've done with these ones so they are kind of like they feel like a suede material but they're in this kind of gorgeous plaid print I think these would make for a great workwear piece if you work in an office or you work somewhere where you need to be a little bit more dressed up but it feels like you're wearing a legging which I love now this one has no pockets on it at all I kind of wish it did I think it would add a little something extra but you can easily kind of layer a longer flowy top over it or something tucked in because they're very high waisted. I really actually like the elasticated waist on them. It's really roomy and great for indulging, especially for upcoming events you might be going to or dinners. Now, these next pants I am not on the fence about. I absolutely love everything about them. So they are a faux suede legging in this gorgeous kind of dark chocolate brown color. I think they're beautiful and I think they're actually a really nice kind of high-end looking legging, especially considering the price. They have some nice design details. So I like the stitching on the side here and then they have a nice stitch that goes all the way down the back. 
and on the front. It gives them definitely more of a high-end look and feel. Now, I wish they would have finished off the bottom. It's a raw hem at the bottom. However, for the price, you can't really go wrong with that. And then they do have a zipper to get them easily on and off over your foot and ankle. They also have an elasticated waistband, which we've already talked about. These are so great for the fall and winter season, especially when we have lots of events and festive dinners to go to, so these are absolutely perfect. And there's a really kind of high-end, trendy legging that's a really great alternative to wearing jeans and just regular leggings. I also picked these ones up in an extra small, and you just can't go wrong with that price point of under 40 Canadian. Now the last pair of pants I'm gonna share with you guys, we're almost at the end here, are these faux leather trousers. They're definitely kind of still have a legging style look to them. However, I do have a pair of faux leather leggings, and they are very kind of thin material and form fitted to your body whereas these ones are a little bit kind of like heavier and structured and that's what I actually really like about them. I think they look a lot dressier and they also have an elastic waistband. So ideal. I love the person that was thinking about these things. They have a raw hem at the bottom and a zipper as well so they're very similar to the previous legging I just showed you, the faux suede leggings. And they just have a really kind of high end look and feel to them as well and as mentioned always a good alternative. I'm always looking for those items that you can dress up or down. You can style this so many different ways because they are very high-waisted. They're going to elongate your body and it's a really great way to take part in one of the major trends that we're seeing for the autumn season which is leather. You really can't go wrong with any of the leather items and this season they're doing all over leather clothing from dresses, skirts, and pants so not the typical classic leather jacket. They're really branching out so this is just a really fun alternative. Now the last item I have to share with you guys and I feel like I've saved the best for last, but it's these beautiful suede ankle boots. So these are a real suede ankle boot. And do these look familiar? Have we maybe seen something very similar to this before? I think they look a lot like a very high-end designer boot, and that is the Chloe Zuzana boots, which retail for a lot more than these ones do. These ones were 150 Canadian dollars, but they definitely have a lot of similarities and make for an amazing designer dupe. I love the gorgeous buckle detail on the side here, and it's really this gold hardware on the front. Like, how gorgeous is that? That really makes the boot. Now, I don't have anything like this in my wardrobe or my collection, so I was really after a pair of boots in this really light suede material. I love suede in the autumn and the winter. It's a gorgeous fabric, whether it's faux or real. I just really like it. I love the contrasting wooden block heel. They're a really nice height, so they give you a slight boost, which is always something I look for being a petite girl. I know petite girl problems. So these ones are amazing. They're really comfortable. I actually wore them all day today and I had no issues with them at all. I just think they're a really good high-end quality boot and Zara mm, can be a little bit pricey with their footwear. However, these ones I highly recommend. You really can't go wrong with them and you're very much going to be on trend with a pair of boots like these. Now before I finish this video off, I actually wanted to share with you two other items that I've purchased in a previous Zara haul. I'll link my previous hauls for you down below if you're interested in looking at that because a lot of those items are still very much on the Zara website if they're not in store. But these two items, I feel like we don't talk a lot about the things that we keep. So I wanted to share with you two items that I have kept and I've absolutely been loving and got so much wear out of from my haul. So I really hope that this is helpful to you guys and let me know if you like this part of the video and you want me to do this in future videos. So I talked about this jacket in my pre-fall Zara haul and honestly, you guys didn't like this jacket on me. I was super on the fence about this one I really held on to it for just about the 30 day mark before I was thinking about returning it and I just really wanted to give it a try because I love this color. I already talked about that earlier in this video. This color does it all for me, really brings out my eyes and yeah, I love it and I love the corduroy trend and honestly, I've been reaching for this jacket just about every single weekend so I pretty much have already got my wear out of it as far as I'm concerned because it was under 50 Canadian dollars. And the last thing, I promise, this is honestly the last thing, but it's these braided mules. I picked these up well over a month and a half ago and I absolutely love them and I've surprised myself by how much wear I've gotten out of these shoes. So they are a braided mule on the website or a woven mule. They're definitely kind of a summer looking mule but I've been finding ways to wear these into the autumn season and I think they'd be really beautiful beautiful like on a vacation if you have anywhere tropical you're going and I love them they're so comfortable and they're so high quality and it's their uniqueness like I don't think I'll ever find anything like this again so I'm almost debating buying an additional pair in case these ones get totally ruined and I won't be able to find something similar I've already received so many compliments on them because they're just a very 
unique and different shoe and I highly highly recommend them I'm just very very impressed with these ones and these ones are also 50 Canadian so I'll link them below for you guys so that's everything that I have to share with you guys for my fall Zara haul I really hope that you guys have enjoyed looking through these items with me and I've given you some style inspiration on how you can style up a lot of their basics whether it's more casually dressed down or to dress them up because that's definitely how I plan on wearing them a lot this season. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. That means so much to me. I really appreciate your guys' feedback and make sure you leave me a comment below. I'd love to know what your favorite item from the haul was or what items maybe you've purchased that have worked out for you or maybe what hasn't worked. I always appreciate your guys' feedback. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you hit the red subscribe button below. There's still lots of fall content coming to my channel as part of the fashion edit. So I'd really love to have you guys here. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I really appreciate you taking the time and I can't wait to see you all again here in my next video. Bye!